Hi again. Now today what I thought I'd do is uh, set up by the water for this video because it's a nice winter morning and uh, it's warmer out here than it is in the house. So uh, I should be able to do everything here. And what I'm going to do is set up uh, Mobian on a pine phone. So I've got my little SIM card holders here and, and stuff like that. Do that so you can see. So I've got my existing phone, a test phone and the pine phone. So what I'm going to do is install Mobian on this phone just from scratch. It's already got Mobian on it, so I'll have a quick look and then I'll go through what's required to install it. Okay, on the laptop I've just gone to the Mobian web page and downloaded the image and uh, to install that on here what you've got to do is first of all get into the thing, just remove the cover. Okay, so inside here just remove the cover you can see you've got the removable battery, removable everything, all the dip switches so you can turn things off like the microphone, the GPS and all that. And in here, actually I'll take the battery out, which can be a bit of a pain to take out by the way. Ah, it's getting looser. <laughs> right, in here, um, the SIM card and the SD card. So what will happen, it'll boot from its internal uh, memory obviously for the operating system, but Prior to that, its priority is to boot from a card. So what I will do is I'm going to put a, a jump box thing on, he, on here, which will treat this as a device when I plug it into the computer, and then I can install the new Mobian image on. So I'll show you what I mean. On this card here, I'm not going to put Mobian. I'm going to put the jump box, the jump drive thing. So if I go to the, uh, the web page, you find it here. There's Pine64. Um, jump drive okay so I've downloaded that and uh, here's the two images I'll be using today so just find out where that card is and it's NMCLB so just unmount whatever's in there first okay so I'll see what I just put in which was this MMC BLK01 so that's where I'm going to install it okay so I just use DD like I usually do input file equals um, pine phone output file equals dev slash mm blah 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 just on the main one there size equals 4 meg status equals progress and this shouldn't take long because that's only tiny okay there it is so now when I put that back in here of course everything's tiny okay that's in there it will boot off that before its own internal memory, okay, which is what I want. So by booting off that, if I plug this into the uh, computer, so I'll just start it up first. That's what it looks like. It just says jump drive is running. Nothing to, nothing to do, nothing to see. And you see it comes up as an SD, SDA one. So now, what I can do is install the Mobian image from the laptop onto the phone, as though it's a just like a USB drive that I've plugged in. So. Going into SDA, we just do DD input file equals Mobian, input file equals dev SDA. Log size equals 4 meg, sta status equals progress. So it's just like when you do the Raspberry Pis, really, it treats this as a drive, and you just put the image on there. And all you gotta do is wait. So, wait I will. I think this might be my office for the day. Okay, now for the benefit of all of you, I'm gonna turn this on at home so it doesn't have the direct sunlight over it because you won't be able to see anything so that's the sort of thing I do for you okay I'm back at the desk so I'll turn this on after it's fresh install see what happens and I've still got the jump drive in so what I'll do is I'll turn it off and remove the jump drive so yes Take that thing out. Try that again. Okay, there it is, up and running. I'm going to assume this is one, two, three, four, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. There, one, two, three, four. Okay. Linux looking apps. So I'll go ahead and set this up a bit now. Okay, what I'll do now is put it on the network, and I'll keep an eye on the DHCP server to see what address it gets, and then try and connect to it. Okay, some of this initial stuff is 
what the language is and all that sort of thing. No, I don't want location. No, I don't want reporting of this and that. Uh, skip all that crap. And we're done. Okay, given that this is a Linux computer, just like this one, one of the first things I'm going to do is uh, enable the SSH server. But rather than use the little keyboard on here, I'm just going to plug a real keyboard into it just to make life easier. Okay, so the time's closer, but the time zone isn't right. What I'm just going to do first is um, usual. Just get into that and ooh, yes, I'll be good. And then go app get update. Same sort of thing as you do with a Linux box. Okay, now I'll just uh, get install a couple of things. SSH and simple screen recorder. Okay, so now over here, just ping it. Uh, 1.10, it's alive. Try and SSH it. Yes, I'll connect to it. And the password's still 1234, just like the screen unlock code. And there you go. So now I'm in, in the phone. And I can install Linux programs on here, of course. That's why I like that thing. Okay, you can see some of the apps that come pre-installed here. Uh, simple Screen Recorder didn't play nicely on this, so we'll just have to use the camera on here. But if you go to things like settings, you'll see it looks very much like the, uh, the Debian standard one. So, looks familiar. One thing, of course, is this mobile setting. I don't have the SIM card in yet, um, but I'll do that now. Oh, there we go. All right, that's in. Battery in. So I'll put the cover on. There we go. Go to mobile. You got your stuff here. Mobile data if you want it. Do, do, do. Probably won't get much because there's no reception in here, as you can see by the reception bar. But um, I'll get to that. Network stuff. It's just good that you have visibility of this stuff, unlike other phones that just force you to do things. Okay, now I'll try and call this phone from this one. So, uh, I think that's it. Call that. Alright, I'm calling this. Okay, that works. Uh, call this one from this one. Okay, and that works. So it works. Oop. Hang up. There you go. That's how you set up a Pine phone. There's a missed message. Now, the reason I've got it is because I don't like, you know, Google or Android, basically. And you may have noticed that uh, when I set this up, at no point did it ask me for names, phone number, email address, or any of that shit. And that's the reason I like it. So anyway, that'll do for now. I might go further into this in the future. It's just a Linux machine, so anything you can do on that, you can do on this. But that'll do for now. So until next time, take it easy.